Using gas and electricity has become an expensive habit of late, with tariffs shooting up across the six main providers. Mpower last week became the latest provider to hike prices, raising gas rates by 15.7% and electricity rates by 7.2%, and that's despite doubling their profits in the first half of 2011. British Gas's most recent hike also came into force last week, with gas prices rising by 18% and electricity by 16%. All of the providers blame these price rises on an increase in wholesale costs. However, looking at this graph, we can see that prices have risen faster across the six main providers than the wholesale costs have. And this is exactly why the energy regulator Ofgem has sanctioned an investigation into the profits of the six main energy companies. In a statement, Ofgem said, Ofgem has appointed accountancy firm BDO to provide recommendations on how best to improve accounting disclosures by energy suppliers. This follows Ofgem's review of the retail market earlier this year, which identified the need to improve accounting transparency to give consumers more clarity about how retail prices relate to suppliers' other costs. And this isn't the only action that Ofgem has taken against the six main energy providers recently. As just last week, they sent them this letter, which basically asks each provider to provide details of how they calculate bills that straddle price increases, and urges them to separate out the two different rates when billing customers. The regulator took this action after 100,000 EDF customers were wrongly billed in this way, and Ofgem are worried that similar issues may have arisen within other providers' billing systems. So with this in mind, how carefully do we really examine our energy bills? I don't study them at all. <laughs> That's really bad. No, I just pay them. Do you kind of you don't look at any of the numbers of what it is or anything? That's we do look at the numbers, and if they look horrifically high, then we'll go and follow up. I think. Do you think they're fairly complicated or fairly easy to understand or? Pretty damn complicated. Well, it's not that complicated. You know, there's normally a flat rate for the first few hundred kilowatt hours, and then a, a, a different tariff for the next few hundred kilowatt hours. Um, and I compare it with other providers, and if there's a big enough difference, I might go with another tariff. But so far, you know, the um, the differences are insignificant so far. Uh, just pay it. Do you think they're kind of complicated or fairly easy to understand when they come through or? Um, yeah, for the most part. I mean, again, I just look at the final number and pay that number. So. Mark Todd is the co-founder of EnergyHelpline.com. I asked him how consumers can ensure that they don't get overcharged on their energy bills. The key thing is to take meter readings. So know where your meter is, take regular meet readings and then obviously you need to submit those to your supplier. The next stage is, is an also to check your bill and just check that what goes on that bill reconciles with what you submitted. So are there any other traps that consumers should be looking out for? When you move into a new house, you'll get put on the standard tariff almost always and put on quarterly billing. These are the most expensive tariffs, typically the standard quarterly billing tariffs. So my advice would be get off the standard tariff of any supplier and get onto a monthly direct debit package, you'll save 10, 20% doing that. And what else can consumers do to make sure they're getting the best deal on their gas and electricity? The key thing is to compare your prices once a year. So once a year, get on the internet or give somebody a call, a price comparison service a call, and, and get a full market you know, um, comparison. So you can understand the different tariffs available. Uh, the, the price differences are enormous. You know, you, a typical price difference someone on a normal home would have would be something like 200, 300 pounds. But while we all can save money on our bills by regularly switching providers, as well as ensuring that we're always on the correct tariff for our needs, if an energy provider does decide to up its rates, as all six main providers have done over the last few months, there's very little that we as consumers can do to stop them.